All right, folks. Here we are today with my newest little contraption, my my little lady's son got himself a kayak and uh, asked me if there was any way I could put a lightweight outboard motor that didn't require gas or anything on it. So after a little thinking and poking around the garage, I came across an old weed whacker and an old uh, impact driver I didn't need. We took the fishing pole holder that was mounted and we threw a backing plate up underneath it, mounted it to the back of the boat. Here is a little kayak and took a piece of sheet metal, made me a propeller. Uh, had to heat it up, get the bends in it, get the angles and attached it to the old weed whacker part. Then I took the DeWalt motor and I cut it from the handle, packed it in a watertight little container, which was a two or one liter soda bottle that I had cut in half, slid over the top and the back. And all I needed was a large square drive bit that would fit in the shaft, in the drive shaft cable of the uh, weed whacker. Hooked it all up, waterproofed as best I could, and here we go. Squeeze the trigger. Now for steering, this pops up just like so, and we're going to hook a little handle to it so that he can steer the boat when he wants to, and when he's done for the day, we just take this turn it pick it up once that's done and voila comes up whole thing and pick it up like so as you can see comes up rotate it around and the entire thing comes off for storage and traveling that is my DIY homemade outboard motor for a little kayak. We don't know if it's going to work, honestly. We haven't put it in the water yet, but theoretically it should. He should be able to control it from the front, swap out the battery quite easily, recharge it, and uh, it'll be good to go. And once I attach the handle to it for steering, we, uh, we're going to give it a test drive. All right. Hope you enjoy my video. Uh, do not like, do not subscribe. I'm not that cool. All right, bye.